Welcome everyone to another highlight sweep. Today I'm gonna reveal the the epic star May sweep. And this set must have been very, very cool because you guys are gonna love what I have in store because you know you, you really actually gonna enjoy this because if you haven't noticed, Star May actually gets a moon pull, 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 pull. And this set I'm gonna run is a more of a more of a uh, joke, a more of a bulky one. So Stami is actually now. If you want to know what Stami is, it's basically it's a water psychic type, and it has a very cool move pull. Stami itself has some decent range of like no special attack, and I mean has okay physical attack, I believe. But he has like the best one. He's most likely yeah, it's a special attack. But in this case, I'm gonna run something more of a challenge, and you guys can probably read what the title is because. What I'm gonna really enjoy, cause <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty, pretty uh, surprising they said actually. Hold on, yeah, it's right on there. Okay, so yeah, this now this uh, is gonna be a little bit of a, a, a almost strat bat. I'm gonna go ahead now and explain the entire strategy um, uh, once I'm uh, once it's done. So uh, yeah, this is gonna be a little long one. So, uh, yeah, first of all, we're going to go ahead now and show you the battle. We're going to go take a little slow motion so we can explain it afterwards. And, hey, you know what, we're going to go straight by. So, we're going to go, uh, hey, a train against everything's, uh, everything hates me. And, yeah, that's pretty much that will be the result, though. So, that person swapped her Dragonite in, I don't even, he's a she, but I'm going to call her because her icons are her. So, she swaps uh, her uh, Dragonite to a Charizard, and then predicted it uh, then made a swap to uh, her uh, get uh, char Charizard. Went for Fire Blast. I went for some supporter because I just need some, some supporter set, and that's it. I went for Taunt because I wanted to make sure I didn't get some, I don't want to get the opponents to set up, and that's it. So, the problem is the battle is that this Metagross is, has full, no, has clear body, not light to metal. So, so fortunately, this set is going to be a very fortunate because I can't get a, a memento trick room because in this set I'm going to run a more of a slow one and that's pretty much it. Fortunately, it's a little bit of a fail, but uh, I can't drop the stats, but at least I can get the the swap strat but into the the um, the uh, what's it called the uh, Sami and we might see the uh, we will see uh, what he can do or uh, she can do. Actually, it's strange enough, most of these has no gender. What is the gender uh, uh, Pokemon you think? Let me know. Anyways, guys, that's going to go down, and it's time to swap in the mighty Stami. Enjoy.
let's have a look at the Slammy sit. Haha, <laughs> got you guys. Alright, let's talk about uh, you guys didn't hear nothing in the background. <laughs> I actually perfectly timed that uh, guy. So you guys can hear me in the back says that. Alright, let's alright, let's talk about the Stami set. Yeah, that's my voice holy. <laughs> I'm sorry, I guess I was just too slow about that one, but yeah. Um but yeah, let's go ahead and explain the Stami set on the showdown. Because you guys are probably wondering what we're talking about in the background, because <laughs> Yeah, also I uh, yeah, I was totally slow on that one. I was actually just perfectly on uh, like untimed that one because well I wasn't really because I forgot the I forgot the pause that but yeah it doesn't matter but uh yeah let's go ahead now and go ahead and give you guys the explanation what was I running I'm pretty sure what's I running like health and like max health or something I'm pretty sure it was like hey because remember people these sets are very old so I can't really exactly you know um you know give you guys the exact set so I'm pretty sure this was a calm nature, I'm pretty sure, because I wouldn't run them most likely. And this has, uh, let me give run the move pulse. We have cosmic power. I had bide, which for no apparent reason, yes, it works apparently. We got recover, and we got whirlpool. Now, the set here is pretty uh, strange, uh, strangely forward, and... Yeah, you're probably going to wonder why I run this set, because... <laughs> yeah, those are very broad moments there, because I don't know if anyone can guess I was running there. Also, people, if you guys hear something in the background, ignore the fact you hear anything. I, uh, I don't know, I was not prepared for that. Uh, you know, you guys hear nothing in the back. Anyway, so, um, yeah, pretty much that's it, so, uh... Yeah, let's go ahead and explain. So we got Cosmic Power, by Recovering Royal Pool, and I think Ability was trying to run, I think it was trying to run uh, Nature Cure, or I'm pretty sure it was, I think it was I mean, Nature Cure or Analyze, I'm pretty sure it was either one of them, or it could be Eliminate. But, I mean, and this set right here, I think the game was it had the mechanical telling you what exactly you have to run, so I don't know exactly what was running uh, the ability, so you guys could just see what I was running. So... It doesn't really matter. I think it was actually it doesn't matter actually in general. So yeah, now we got leftover stick item, and I'm pretty sure we're running a a max health and a, a more of a different one. We run I think like 100, 124 for the defense and 132 for uh, for uh, for the special defense and have calm nature. Now the set here is actually pretty weirdly because you're probably wondering why did I run this set. Well. First of all, it's a physical and special attack is pretty good actually already. So I was going to try the more of a little bit more of a challenge, and I tried a bide set. Now the mechanic of this move is that if you don't want to know what bide is, it's basically it's a move that basically it's like a more of a return fire mode, and every time you basically hit it, like I think it's like you know, it's like it does like basically double more damage. Every time you hit your uh, hit, getting hit by the bite. So let's say you use bite right now, and every time you getting hit, or at least you go for the damage roll, or getting like basically how this works is like you more are you getting damaged, um, the the double the base power you will get from the attack and return fire. Now, fortunately, bite is a mechanical move that just randomly hits you. I'm pretty sure. I think, otherwise, I think it will just go for, I think it will just go for, like, a random one, I'm pretty sure. Otherwise, if it's not, well, then it's not. <laughs> so, the move bite also will fail if you don't get a damage like, attack. It's basically it's a free turn move, uh, and it'll, it, like, basically will, uh, it will basically just launch a very, or in lynch, or whatever it calls, like, it will just launch a basic uh, attack and just counter the opponents by using a very strong force and it was return fire with all those attack uh, they were attacking you or send you so yeah now the also another counter in this set is that if someone wants to swap I have whirlpool and that's basically another counter to me uh, the uh, so the opponent says because if you don't know um if the opponent has a substitute that's another thing you can also counter me most likely but not as like if it's had leftover obviously no, that would be also a counter <laughs> I mean, the I would say the the most counterable thing on this set here will be a Jellicent because they are like if they have water absorb with like, or um, if they have water absorb or 
Yeah, that's very much it. A gel stuff with water absorb can uh, counter me because it's a water type and it can absorb water attacks. And Bind can just doesn't do anything because I don't have a ring target to the opponent's uh, uh, ghost type. So Bind's not going to do nothing. So that would be pretty sure that's set here an explanation. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little set here. Yeah, I had no reason why I wanted to upload this one, but uh, that's pretty much the strategy. And I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, little highlight clip. So, uh, yeah, also, next time, I'm going to mute my audio because I feel like I'm going to end up getting my audio keep hearing in the annoyingly way. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, guys. But that's pretty much it. And uh, I think that was a pretty funny moment, just trying to act like the guy in the video. So, yeah, who knows. Uh, oh, yeah, another thing here is that the battle, they were salty. Because, <laughs> yeah, they were. I didn't expect it if you guys didn't know, but they were very salty and forfeited because... I clearly could have won that first battle. Like clearly, I was like, I mean, technically, I got paralyzed. That's another there were the opponent's uh, issues because they could have got paralyzed. Uh, like, I could have got paralyzed uh, annoyingly so many times. But the thing is, it doesn't matter the fact I'm. Uh, don't talk. It this doesn't matter the fact I would like. I mean, I could probably counter his. I could like stall his Lucario, like, and then we all the way at the end, it'll have his Charizard. And unfortunately, Greninja doesn't gonna have anything because you know I have Stealth Rock and Spikes on the field, so that means the Greninja will go down, and all they left is a Charizard, and they salty babe. They just salty forfeited because of that. So annoyingly, that's how it is. So I hope you guys enjoyed the hi highlight, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. This uh, battle, peace, and see you next time.